the reason why people are calling me a leftist, leftist, is because I'm I'm asking questions that they don't like, right? I'm asking. That's it's what I'm doing. I'm making arguments which are sound, right? Sound. It's not like I'm just pulling this out of my butt. I'm making arguments which they don't like. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. And today we're gonna be talking about the amazing Lucas, who is now being called the amazing liberal. Just kidding. I made that up on the spot. If you're new to the channel, I usually make these very opinionated, sometimes controversial videos, or I'll probably end up talking about your favorite YouTuber at some point, and you can either like me for it or dislike me for it for the end of time. If that's something you're into, subscribe now. Well, back to the amazing Lucas. Why is being called lefty all of a sudden? Oh my god! Oh my god! The burning down Walgreens! Somebody asked him, why do people think that he is now a lefty and a liberal? So you're probably wondering, because if you're an amazing Lucas fan or have watched him for the past seven months, what, when did this happen and why? This happened around the time where the whole BLM thing started rising up out of, you know, the event that cannot be named because Susan would just get mad and not want to cash me a check. Bad. Good. Bad. Good. Bad. So we will call it the not Floyd Waymether thingamajig just for the sake of trying to get, you know, this greenlit. So the Floyd Mether wijamajig, which was more a police problem than, you know, a, you know, a, a color thing, it kind of made the amazing Lucas say some things that I would imagine a lot of his audience were like, whoa, this is not the response we would expect from you. Now, I never really analyzed most of Amazing Lucas's videos on this. I'm giving you a casual perspective from like the casual audience member. Chances are 85% of the audience just kind of caught glimpse and pieces of all this and made their whole notions based off that. Again, I'm like the casual viewer. I don't really go in and microanalyze everything. So I'm only giving you the perspective from the casual person, like everybody else, you know? You just casually watch the videos, you know, that's all. So, that being said, I think this was what actually caught people off guard and started saying, Lucas, you're going soft. Lucas, you're probably a lefty in disguise. And now people are like wondering, is the amazing Lucas actually the amazing liberal in disguise? Now, Lucas goes into more detail in this video, kind of, but his analogies are a little weird, and they're full of memeable moments, and <laughs> the memeable moments kind of made me even more confused and puzzled. And I just want to hear people who say, that's bad. And if I believe this is good, then I just want to hear people who say, that's good. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The burning down Walgreens. Bad. Good. Bad. Good. Bad. Now, personally, I don't dislike him, and I will keep being sub to him. Might look more into his opinions now that it's become a thing that you can't really avoid, where people are actually like, oh, okay, so he's starting to uh, go on the side of the left and kind of showing that, and we don't like it. So I'll pay more attention to it, see what else comes up. Hopefully, the amazing Lucas we once knew and loved won't be turning into a heavenly controller anytime soon. Because if he does, oh man, we would have lost a good one. And that, as my compadres would say, is no bueno.